hello guys once again welcome back to another android app development tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to enable contextual action mode for individual view components in android by implementing the action mode callback we can display a contextual action bar so we can start with a new android studio project specify application name So now here the project is created. <clears throat> so first here I am going to add some dependency. So here I am going to display a snack bar. So it need the design support library. So add the design support library and sync project. Okay now the project sync finishes. Now here I change the root into coordinator layout. Now specify an ID for it. Okay, now here I am going to place a button, uh, add a relative layout first, now place a button. Specify text on it, enable contextual action mode. Now specify an ID for it. Now place the button at, button at the center of parent. Okay, so now we can add some vector or set for the menu items. So add some vector or set. First here I am going to add some delete item. Now I am going to add some share item. Okay, now we can create the menu. So create a new menu resource file. I name it as contextual action mode menu. Now we can add menu items. Specify ID into action delete. Now specify icon. Now specify the title. Now here I am going to add another item, action share, change the icon, change title into share. Okay. Now go to the main activity. So first create variables for button. Now initialize that variable. So here we are going to display the contextual action bar when user make a long press on the button. So here I implement the on long click listener. Okay, now in order to display the contextual action bar, we have to implement the action mode callback. So implement the action mode callback. I name it as M action mode callback. So here we override four methods on create action mode on prepare action mode, on action item click and on destroy action mode. So when you start the action mode by calling the start action mode method, the system call the on create action mode. From this method, we can inflate the menu. Soon after on create action mode, the system call the on prepare action mode. When user select an item on the action bar, the on action clicked method will be called. When user leave the contextual action mode, the system call the on destroy action mode method. Okay, so now we can first we can inflate the menu. We can inflate the menu for the action mode. So create variables for menu inflator. Use the action mode parameter. On that parameter, call the method get menu inflator. Now we can inflate the menu. Second parameter is menu and return true from this method. Okay, so now we can start the action mode. So create some variables for action mode. First initialize that variable with the value null. So when user make a long press on the button, we can start it. So first we have to check whether the action mode is already enabled or not. 
so check the variable action mode not equal to null that means action mode is already active in that case return false otherwise we can start the action mode so you can start the contextual action bar by calling the method start action mode and pass the action mode callback and return true okay so when user leave the action mode we have to uh, reset that variable so action mode into null okay so now we can test our project so i run the project okay now the project available in this virtual device so when i make a long click the contextual action bar will appear that contain two items delete and share so now here i am going to show you how to handle the click events of this contextual menu items so for handle the click events of the menu item here we have a method called the on action item click so in this method we can handle the click events so here i use a switch case statement so first here i am going to create a method for display a snack bar i name the method as display message with one parameter message now display a snack bar display the message and call the show method okay so now we can identify which item is clicked by the user using a switch case statement so you can call the get item id method now consider each case if it is auto delete, call the method display message delete option selected so when user select an item we have to dismiss the action mode so call the mod.finish method and return true now we can consider the second case action share change the message now consider the default case in that case return false okay now we can test it again so run the project again make a long press so here the contextual action mode available now the click events working fine so this is how we implement contextual action mode on individual item in android thank you for watching see you in the next episode